Hey everyone, um, now that you have your basis and foundation set for Kappa, uh, you can uh, change your presets, you have your OpenAI API key in place, uh, you're ready to start building single article generations. Now let's look at bulk, uh, and specifically let's look at bulk uh, programmatic. Um, this is our uh, first version of this. Uh, I expect this to continue to get better in 2024. Um, but let's just go through the basics to get you up and running and building projects that are programmatic based. Um, so uh, you'll see here, um, you know, bulk uh, for programmatic is just simply toggling over to here. You're in bulk generation. Just toggle over to programmatic keywords here. Let me actually just copy this just to make sure. Okay, it does. Okay. Uh, select your model. Um, uh, leave legacy blank for now. Um, I don't think that's going to exist for too much longer. Um, I think it's nearing 0% usage. So, um, time to probably move on from the legacy builder, but anyway, so nested headings for, uh, auto generated outline, um, just like bulk, uh, this is just for nesting of the outlines. If you leave this blank, uh, we will still generate the outlines for you, uh, based on the target keywords. It just won't be nested. It will be H2. So that's it. So, nested toggle on here. It's just for H2, H3 setup nesting. So anyway, um, so the way we do it is um, basically by variable within the, uh, the the parameters here, right? So you'll see an example here, definitely follow this, but here's an example to hopefully um, make you understand how this works, right? So uh, we're talking about tree trimming uh, in, and I'm gonna do city, and I'm going to do uh, New York. So you'll see as soon as the, uh, uh, what the hell do you call these? I don't know, the, the brackets. Uh, so within the brackets itself, that signifies within the code that this is a variable that will change. Um, so you'll see the variable populated down here. Uh, values here, you can copy and paste from a, um, uh, a spreadsheet all the cities within New York, which I'm going to do in about a second. Very quick, control C, control V, right into the values. Um, this is, you know, this is V1. V2 is eventually going to have a CSV import, uh, which will allow you to do this. Um, a lot of people have asked for that. We're definitely going to be bringing that uh, along. Uh, and then same with the outline template. We'll show you that, um, how that all works. But you'll basically be able to see this pretty quickly, um, how this can work. Uh, so let me just go ahead and drop in uh, control C, control V. That is 595 cities in New York. Um, so that's all there. Um, so you'll see that listed. And then um, let's hit outline template and you'll see how, you know, again, all of these questions, these tip bars here, um, uh, question marks, they have uh, information for you for how to do this, right? So. Again, maybe, maybe you're not even, you know, say you wanted to do more than just tree trimming. Be careful there with the first version because you'll see in the template uh, in the outline, it's, it's a little tricky, but uh, you know, you can do, you know, more than one variable. Just keep that in mind, but also keep in mind the outline template, which we're about to review. Uh, so there are all the cities uh, and let's make the, um, you can do it just like on the single article and bulk standard bulk generation. You can simply type in something and hit go uh, and it adds it, or you can import your own <clears throat> and, you know, just keep the um, same brackets in place on the variable or uh, a favorite feature, uh, just hit the um, generate outline template. AI generates it for you with the variables included. Um, this is where we get a lot of questions at this point, um, where say you have three or four tree trimming services across New York that are statewide. How can you add those within the template itself as the actual, um, uh, if you're building programmatic and say you are trying to drive leads to these guys, you're paid for them. Uh, you want to include obviously these within every city. Uh, and we'll, we'll show you how to do that directly within the uh, outline itself. And more importantly, how it's going to get uh, stronger in the future. So uh, you'll see here, um, you'll have uh, the, the variable changing. Again, this is all, editor, you know, you can change what you want here. Uh, click into it, change it, uh, delete it, 
definitely look at this, right? This is AI generated. The best, um, the best output for this will be you fully understanding this outline template and making the right changes, right? Some of this stuff might not make sense. Uh, and especially if you have, um, you know, a couple companies that you want to include, um, you would simply, uh, company one, I'm just calling it company one. Um, it's, you know, it's called tree, I don't know, tree trimming of New York. So that is where you would drop in uh, company one, company two, company three, right? If this was, um, uh, let's call this at a how to find uh, uh, the best qualified tree trimming service in. Perfect. Okay. Right. So it'd be company one. Uh, let's just call it that company two, right? So do, 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 company three. So that's how you would do it, right? And just um, right now, uh, we are working on, it should be updated by the time this video probably even reaches anyone, but uh, we're also going to be adding in research data here, just like on the bulk or the single side uh, a generation. There'll be a little research button here that allows you to put in input. I spelled company wrong, um, but that's where you drop in the company one input, right? So drop in the, I would go to their website, copy the whole damn thing and drop it into research code. One, two, three. Uh, it's going to be there soon. You can do it now if you want. Once we generate the the uh, target keywords, you'll see in a second. Um, you also see within this environment I'm in right now, which hopefully is going to be released by the time anyone views this. This is where you can add the custom code uh, per generation of the outline. So for programmatic, I would definitely add in a, uh, a lead gen form right here, right? Like if you have an element or form capture, just grab the code and drop it in here. Um, tree trimming services of New York, get an instant quote, well, you know, whatever it is, drop it in here, uh, hit save, uh, and it will create a custom section. Let me just show you an example. You can do a custom code or short, short code, by the way, just an example. Uh, it will drop that in for every single article across all these 595 cities using this as the uh, outline, drop in the short code, move it around, just like everything else, drag and drop. Um, same with custom code, I would do the, um, the form, you know, the form capture. Uh, maybe you have form uh, lead software, drop that in there. Um, or maybe you want, you know, all of these to have um, an image, uh, um, uh, best, <laughs> best tree trimming, I don't know, tree trimming 101, uh, infographic, dropping in a custom HTML, hit save and drag it to wherever you want, right? So each of these will have it. Or maybe you have another example would be storage containers uh, or maybe not storage containers, do um, roofing supplies, right? And actually show the roofing su supply, uh, supplies products. Uh, so there's a lot you can do with this new feature coming out at custom code, at short code. Um, so that's programmatic. And then all you have to do is go down here, hit generate keywords, and it will then uh, populate all of the articles for you. Um, let's see here, why is that not working? Of course it doesn't work. Um, come on now, must be this test environment. Um, anyway, so it will generate, let me just bring it to the front end. Hold on one second. Okay, I made some <laughs> quick fixes, uh, but you'll see it generates all the keywords here. Uh, the um, the variable in the brackets uh, is the city. Uh, so your keyword is tree trimming in Addison, New York, in Afton, New York, in Akron, New York. So um, that's when uh, you can um, specifically right now would have to go in and uh, definitely apply presets. Um, now that you're familiar with what those are, those are definitely useful at the bulk level. Same with programmatic bulk. Um, you apply your presets, but um, this is where you would also be able to go in um, directly and um, let's see here. Uh, did I do that? No. So yeah, just hit apply presets. Uh, I don't think I have one for it, but as you know, with presets, it will go through one by one and apply it to all 595 keywords. So uh, all of these, no matter if you have all of these all set already, you have some options in here. 
Um, hopefully you have all this filled out, uh, content ma manipulation form, AI images, et cetera, right? So all of these will be done for you. Um, the, uh, the, the um, outline will also be done for you. That's where you can add the company information. Again, that's going to come on the front side soon. Um, but this is how you would generate programmatic. Um, so uh, this is the first version. And, um, you know, V2, V3, there's definitely going to be more to it soon. Um, but uh, this is basically getting you off the ground and running with um, some programmatic builds.